Hello guys, good afternoon. I'm sitting here in Moshi at the uh, Panama Garden Resort together with Elizabeth. She's the uh, guest relation manager and the general manager of, of the hotel. Um, yes, I'm staying already some, some days here in Moshi. Moshi is really a very nice town and um, I just want to introduce uh, this nice hotel to you. So my first question goes to Elizabeth. So what can you tell me about this hotel? Um, Panama Garden Resort was uh, opened in the year of 2617. Okay. It's located at Kilimanjaro, Moshi town, Kilimanjaro, uh, approximately from the airport. We also have a number, few numbers of hospitals where we can get our guests to, where we can get our guests our guest to. Mm. And um, when you are in Panama Garden Resort, you can get a very good view of Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. So, so how far away is uh, Mount Kilimanjaro from, from, from this hotel? I think it's quite nearby. Uh, yeah, it is. It is very mm. quite nearby. Yes, yes. Mm. And I think you have a lot of guests who, who are climbing Kilimanjaro? Yes, we do. Yes. Yes, we do. We have a lot of, we receive a lot of guests who come with interest of climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Mm -hmm. And going on safari, we also do organize for uh, some safaris like day trips. Mm -hmm. Yes, to um, waterfalls, um, like hot springs, yes. places like that, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Elizabeth, can you tell me a little bit more about the hotel? So what is special? So why should the guests choose your hotel? Okay, Panama Garden Resort is a very unique hotel and a very special. Mm -hmm. um, we have the best chefs. We have the best, very nice garden, yes. as you already yes. seen it. Yes. yes, and we have the best workers. Oh, okay, yes. you, you, you say uh, uh, you have the best chef, so yes. is there any special dish you can recommend? We have, actually we have a lot of dish. Um, my manager here will be yeah. <laughs> specify yeah. all the dishes that we have. Actually, I would, I would say, yeah, uh, our chefs uh, really give a good experience mm -hmm. to the guests mm -hmm. who are from international, from outside uh, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. They get a very good experience of uh, local foods. Mm -hmm. So when you order any local food, they, we have like the best food uh, mm -hmm. around. Also, I would say Nyamachoma. I don't know if they know Nyamachoma. It's yeah. What was the name? Nyamachoma? Nyamachoma. Yeah, Nyamachoma. It's grilled meat on charcoal. Yeah, We do the best. Uh, we do that on weekends mm -hmm. at our bar. They can come and enjoy the Nyamachoma. Mm -hmm. uh, we also do the roast uh, grilled chicken which is very good here in Panama. Yes. And of course, Ugali, you also serve uga Ugali. Yes, and Ugali, <laughs> Ugali. Yeah, the maize meal and uh, you mix it with water, very good meal. And oh. you take it with beef. Okay. Elizabeth, where do your guests come from? From all over the world? Also, what are the main countries your guests come from? Actually, we receive the guests from all over the world. Mm. Germany, America, Moscow, all over the world, China. So we receive a lot of guests from all over the world and they really enjoy our services here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we give the best service. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. So, um, Isa, can you tell me anything about the rooms and the, the rights? Yes, uh, we have different kind of rooms. We have the standard uh, single room, and uh, which is uh, approximately $70 per night. Uh, in the room, the amenities we provide, we have uh, the shampoo and everything that you can get in a standard hotel, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we have a hair dryer uh, in the room. We have a very good uh, bathroom, clean, ensuring that all housekeeping are doing very good cleaning. We inspect them every day. Mm -hmm. The other room we have is a double room that uh, uh, accommodates two guests in the room. It's for, it goes for $90. In Tanzanian shillings, it's 120,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another room, a junior suit, which is $200. Mm -hmm. It's a junior suit, a very nice room, which has a, an, a, a, a bigger space for mm -hmm. sitting, a sitting area. And then we have the executive suit, which is $300, uh, which is a big cottage. It's like, actually like a house, yeah, on its own. 
So it has different rooms and two bathrooms and a bathtub inside. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, this, this is a good uh, um, um, keyword, you say cottages, so actually you have different kinds of rooms here, right? So uh, one week ago I also stayed here in one of, I think, of one of these cottages. Yes. So you have cottages yes. and a, a little, little bit like small bungalows yes. and rooms. Yes, yes, we have rooms in the main building, yes. as you can see from behind me. We have the main rooms there, which the prices are the same, mm -hmm. yeah? But most people, somebody might prefer, I want to go away from uh, the noise in the main building. I want to stay in the cottages. Some of them prefer the cottages. Mm -hmm. But most of them, when they come from the mountain because they are very tired, yes. they prefer the cottages. They don't have to do the stairs. Yes. Yeah, they prefer. But we also have a swimming pool where the guests can uh, swim when they come from the mountain. They relax and it's a very good environment. Yes. Very nice. So how many cottages do you have? Right now we have uh, 12, 11, that is uh, around 24. 24 cottages? 24, because it's 12, 11, that is 23. So. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, and how many rooms? Uh, rooms we have, uh, total in the hotel, it's 62 rooms. Six, that means 62 rooms in the main building and main around, building plus and plus the, plus the cottage, cottages. Yes. Okay. Elizabeth, at the end, can you tell me anything about Moshi? So why actually, why should the people come to Moshi? So why is Moshi worth paying a visit to? Okay, as you all know, um, Mount Kilimanjaro is in Moshi. And Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa and second to the world. And also people should come in Moshi because it's the um, cleanest town in Tanzania. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we have a lot of places people can go very historical and very nice place very historical for example what is historical like in the waterfalls yes yes there's some village nearby which are very historical you can go and get the history of that village so it's, it's very beautiful okay Isaac anything else you want to tell them about uh, our viewers about Moshi yes um, I, I would talk about mostly all the international guests have told me they love the weather here it's very uh, not very cold it's very warm so most guests who come from Arusha even other parts of Tanzania when they come to Moshi I don't know we are in which side of the mountain but it's it has a cool climate mm -hmm. very warm so you do at night it's not very cold you do not have to use many blankets to sleep here yeah? mm -hmm. so you just very relaxed mm -hmm. Um, yes, uh, last remark uh, from me, but I think you also have the rainy season here in Moshi, right? So, so when will the rainy season start? I think it's around now, March, April. Yes, actually the rainy season starts in February, going on up to around April. Yeah? Okay. And then we start now the sunny season, the dry season, and that is when we get the guests coming in yes. so that they can go to the mountain. Okay, so actually what, what's the best time to, to come to Moshi or would you say oh, you can come to Moshi all, all over the year? I would say it depends on uh, which trip the guest is taking because for Mount Kilimanjaro during the rainy season it's not very uh, accommodating. Mm -hmm. yeah? But during the sunny season, uh, dry season, it's very good to go to the mountain. Mm -hmm. But for the other trips, when you're going for the day trips, when you're going to Serengeti for a safari, all season. You can go during the rainy season or during the dry season, it's okay. Okay. Actually, uh, Isaac, have you personally climbed Mount Kilimanjaro? <laughs> Not really. I've actually gone on a day trip uh, close to the mountain, actually to the gate. Mm -hmm. I've never really done the seven day or the six day climbing because I'm very occupied in the hotel. I'm working the whole time. So I think I'll I'll say I'll, I'll I'll take a vacation probably later. <laughs> okay, that means it's still on your bucket list. It's one of your plans. Actually, I was to do it this year, so I'm still looking for a good period I can do it. Okay. So thank you very much, Elizabeth. Thank you very much, uh, Isaac, for the short interview. Yes, I really can recommend this hotel. It's a very nice place. I uh, also climbed Kilimanjaro and I stayed here some days and uh, had a good uh, time and relaxed. So if you want to pay a visit to this hotel, you're very welcome. I think you also have a website. Yes, yes. www.panamagardenresort.com Okay, so please check out this website and yes, check out this very nice hotel. So see you later and uh, remember our slogan, 
always enjoy your life in full trains. Bye bye.